What's up everybody? I'm Tim from Timber Ridge Gifts. So in this video we're going to be making massage candles. Uh, for those of you that don't know what they are, it's very similar to a lotion bar, except that it's in candle form. So basically as it melts, the melt pool is going to form a nice uh, massage oil that you can uh, use on yourself or your partner. Uh, very nice, enjoyable, relaxing, great for your skin. So enough talking about it, let's go ahead and uh, jump into it and uh, go over the ingredient list that we're going to need. Uh, first thing you're going to need is some type of container. Uh, for this, I'm just going to be using these uh, 8 ounce tans that I bought from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. You're going to need candle wicks, uh, soy wax, uh, cocoa butter or shea butter, uh, some type of carrier oil. Uh, we'll go over those here in a second. Uh, a little bit of vitamin E and whatever you're going to scent it with, whether it's fragrance oil from candle making or essential oils. Uh, recipe is really simple. I'm going to uh, write it out in the description so you don't have to worry about writing it down now or trying to memorize anything. But it's basically going to be, it's going to be three parts. It's going to be one part soy wax, one part cocoa butter, and one part carrier oil. So for this project we're going to do today, we're making four eight ounce tins. That's going to be 32 ounces. So basically we're going to need 11 ounces of each. So we got our 11 ounces of soy wax, our 11 ounces of cocoa butter, 11 ounces of our carrier oil, uh, I'm going to be using uh, grapeseed oil and avocado oil. Uh, this is where you can really get creative on your own and just pick what you either prefer or what you have on hand. Really any type of uh, plant or vegetable based oil will work, just depending on what you, pref what you prefer. Uh, not really much of a measurement on the uh, vitamin E, we're just going to use a few drops just to have that in there, just extra moisturizing. Now, as far as uh, scenting the candles, that's really the fun part. The massage is great, but if it smells better, that's even better. Uh, if you're going to use a uh, fragrance oil, make sure, make sure, make sure that it is body safe. Um, if you get on the uh, website where you bought it or if you're just buying it, check on the website, make sure it's intended for a uh, bath and body. And if you're going to use essential oils, oh, let's get back to the measurement. So the measurement on this is basically going to be one ounce per pound. So we're going to have basically two pounds of uh, solid ingredients, so we're going to use two ounces of fragrance oil. With the essential oils, uh, any essential oil you choose will be fine. Uh, just keep in mind that some are a little harsher than others, uh, such as like peppermint or spearmint. Those are fine to use, but you want to keep in mind that if they're going to be used on someone that has sensitive skin, it may create an issue for them. But the measurements for the essential oils is going to be anywhere from uh, 30 to 50 drops per pound, just depending on how weak or strong you wanted it to be. Okay, well that's the ingredients list. I'll list this in the description. Let's head back over to the table, put all this together, and start making candles. Okay, so we've got everything measured up and set up. We can go and start melting down our ingredients. First thing we're going to do is add our soy wax. There's our 11 ounces of soy wax. Next, we're going to add our cocoa butter. So our 11 ounces of cocoa butter. You can also use shea butter. And we've got our 11 ounce mixture of carrier oil. Like I said, you can use pretty much any kind you want. Just remember that it's one part of the ingredient. So for this one, it had to be 11 ounces. Okay, we're just going to let that melt. Uh, I'm using my Presto pot. If you don't have one of these, you can use a double boiler just on the stove top. It's one thing to keep in mind that if you are using a stove top, if you have a, uh, you definitely want to use a gas, a uh, double boiler just because of all the oils involved. Uh, we're going to watch our temperature. We don't want it to get, bu get above about 185. Uh, just want to be careful on the stove top because you are using a bunch of uh, flammable oils. So if you have a, a gas stove, it could become an issue. So just Make sure you use a double boiler if you don't have this type of setup. And while that melts down, we're going to go ahead and uh, get our containers ready. This is an 8 ounce candle tin. Uh, for this size tin, we're going to be using an uh, Eco 14 candle wick. Um, I'll go ahead and add a list or add a uh, link to a, uh, a great wick guide if you're unsure what type, what size wick to use. 
that guide will really help you. It's on candle science. But to do that, all we're going to do is just uh, just take a plastic straw, a little bit of hot glue. You can use glue dots. I found that this way is just as easier, a little bit cheaper. And we're just going to uh, set it right about in the middle. And that one's ready to pour. So we've got all of our candles set up. We're going to go ahead and uh, straighten up the wicks. I'm going to be using these store-bought wick bars. Uh, really anything will work. Popsicle sticks, clothespins, just basically whatever you can get to uh, stabilize that wick. Okay, so we've melted everything down. We've heated to about 180. Now we're ready to transfer it into our pouring pot to let it cool. Okay, so we've cooled to about 160. Now we're ready to add our vitamin E and our fragrance oil. Like I said, there's really no measurement on this. It's just get a little bit in there just for a little bit added moisturizing effect. And now our fragrance oil. Uh, like I said, make sure it is body safe. For this one, we're going to be using a lavender mist from Rustic Essentials. Uh, it's just got a nice spa type scent to it and it is uh, bath and body safe. So we've got our two ounces of fragrance oil. We're going to mix it up real good, let it cool to about 140, and then we're going to pour. Okay, so we've cooled to about 140, now we're ready to pour our candles. Nice steady pour to fill it up to the top. Okay, and that's it. We're going to let those cool for a couple hours, come back, and I'll show you how to use them. Okay, so our candles are completely melted. Uh, now how to use them. Um, really pretty simple. All you do is just light it. Uh, about 10 to 15 minutes, a nice melt pool will form. Uh, from there, we just blow it out, and we'll use it just like this. It's important to blow it out. You can, you, know, you can be tempted to just leave it lit while you pour it or put your fingers in it. You do have the potential that uh, some of the uh, wax and oil is in contact with the flame, so it can be a little bit hotter. But now that we've blown it out, it's already started to cool. And right now it's at 110 degrees in the middle. So that's plenty cool enough to uh, put your hands in, to pour it on your hand, pour it on somebody. You do want to be careful if somebody is sensitive to hot things or they have sensitive skin. You can potentially burn them if they're susceptible to that. So just be careful with that, but like I'll show you, I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll dip my fingers right in it. You know, it's, it doesn't bother me at all. Pour a little bit in my hand, just like that. Now we can just rub it in. Nice treat for ourselves. Nice massage oil. It's really a quick, fun, and easy project. Uh, these can make a great gift. A nice way to pamper yourself. Or, a nice romantic treat for you and your loved one. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you subscribe, check out my new videos.